Today, we're beginning a very extraordinary journey. 4.5 billion people chronically are exposed to aflatoxin, which is a class one carcinogen. It causes immunosuppression. It causes stunting in children. It's not something that a company like Mars Incorporated wants to live with. Folded is a video game that was launched by the University of Washington with the intention of crowdsourcing a lot of the biochemical research that we do. Um, it's a puzzle game, and the premise of Folded is that you don't have to be a scientist to solve puzzles. Folded is unique in that it will take players who think they can help us solve this problem for ourselves at Mars, but really for society. It's not one scientist in a laboratory hammering away for years and years and years. It's 460,000 gamers on Folded. Very literally around the world, people will be playing these games, refolding proteins. Some will be driven by shape, and some will be driven by the score. This player has, has selected this, this one problem residue right here, and we'll see if we can mutate it. We can change the chemical properties of this residue uh, to something that works a little bit better. This is the Uncommon Collaboration. It takes the guts of corporations like Mars and universities like UC Davis, the score tells me if I'm succeeding, and then the scientists take all the best scoring ones and they test them in the lab to see if they really work. The real end game of Fold It is to contribute to the larger scientific community as a whole and really take advantage of citizen science. I can see all of these electron donors and acceptors, and all I've got to do is link them up. Imagine playing a puzzle and at the same time being able to help scientists get their work done. And with the aflatoxin challenge, it's even better. Imagine playing a puzzle and saving a life. How could you not be excited about that? We will take this information, translate it back into the genetic code. The enzyme then can be coded in form of DNA. We can also make the protein to do the functional testing and see whether it really works. In a few short weeks, we can go from designs on a screen to proteins in hand to actual data on whether or not we have enzymes that can degrade these toxins.